what it's really like to live on the Gold Coast on your boat. It's loud on a weekend. It's busy and it's so choppy and it's not from the wind or anything, it's from the boats. But this guy over here blasting his music. More boats, more jet skis, more party boats coming in. It's pretty tight anchorage for all this traffic. And we're not rolling around because of the swell. We're rolling around because of all the boats moving around in here and coming in. Yeah, Rob's not a fan, but I really like the Gold Coast. It's um, always got something happening. On the other side of this island is Surface Paradise. Around to my left is Southport Seaway. Further to my left is Stradbroke Island for surfing. Around to my right is Runaway Bay and Runaway Bay Shopping Centre. You can take your dinghy in. And up behind us is Tipplers, where we came from, with a bar and restaurant. Today we're heading over to my parents at Runaway Bay and I'm going to raid mum's wardrobes full of clothing to send back to Fiji. But before we do, I want to take you out the back and show you something. Check out these little cuties, they're called Signets. And these black swans are growing in numbers on the Gold Coast. They breed in the canals and usually nesting in people's backyards. And out the front where the sandbar is, there is seagrass, which they feed from, and the back of people's boats, which you'll notice later on. Right, let's head up and see what mum has for Fiji. Like many people, clothing holds memories. And for mum, this is a struggle to let go. This good stuff and all these nice bright colours. Mum's struggling to give up a lot of her stuff. Who is it? Look at all this stuff. Who is it? <laughs> Found this 1968. She's still got it. She's got heaps of stuff here. She won't give it up though. I am. That's not right. What about this? Will you get rid of this? Oh. That's got memories, Dan. It's got memories. I get rid of this one. Now I'll give these. I'll give these to somebody that's doing I work. This either. It's got memories as well. It's not bought it over in uh, New, New Zealand. Zealand. It's as itchy as shit. It's no, so itchy. It is for me too. You I never can't. wear it. Straight to life. But there's a lot of stuff in there that they really need and they need clothing for church, which is really important to them. There's lots of denominations in a village and they all have to cover their knees and their shoulders. Okay, taking back four bags to the boat. It's all heading to Fiji and the other bag is going to head to Indonesia. Gosh, it's so much stuff. There's still more stuff as well. Anyway, we've got some boats that are going to Fiji, so they're going to get a couple of bags. We're just going to drop a couple of bags over to Rachel's boat. They are leaving for Fiji. And another friend of ours will also be taking another two bags to go to Fiji as well. Delivery! Yeah. Two bags off to Fiji with Axel and Sabine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Today we've picked up anchor outside Runaway Bay and heading around to what they call, the locals call as Bums Bay. It's a very protected area where a lot of lift boards go. We'll try to get some water over there and catch up with some friends that we met in Fiji. We're now heading around the eastern side of uh, Wavebreak Island. There's the seaway out there. And on this wall here is where they take a lot of people that are learning to dive or just wanting to snorkel along the wall. There's lots of pretty fish um, and it usually is extremely clear because you get all the seaway water coming through. You can see the currents all coming through here and oh, hear the motor change going through here. Just all these currents colliding, isn't it? Saturday, so and it's sunny, so it's always going to be crazy out here. Mum's Bay's got a little bit of protection from all the wash from all these boats. We've 
been down there before and it was very nice. You can surf from there and it's um, just a little bit calmer. It feels like you're just merging onto a highway, doesn't it? Look at this coming. This is the Gold Coast on the weekend. Jet boat. <laughs> Jet skis on the other side of us. Seaway over there. There's surface over there. These people on this beach must think they're at the surf. There is so much whitewash from these boats. It's amazing people don't get killed around here. It's dropped anchor at Marine Stadium or known by the locals as Bombs Bay. Yes, well I did find out later that they can actually drink salt water. Just above their eyes and under the skin they have a gland that removes salt from their bloodstream and concentrates it into a solution that is excreted from their nostrils called the nair holes. And they mate for life, these birds apparently. <laughs> Unlike humans. Yeah. And they always put the food in the water before they eat it. Oh, they're so beautiful. Hello. Hello. I want to pat him, but I think he might bite me. <laughs> Are you giving him all the salad? <laughs> I thought that was my lunch. <laughs> Stop giving him my lunch. Ooh, I like your salad. <laughs> That's it. Dinner's over. I should have got my time. <laughs> climbing on the boat in a minute. <laughs> well, you might as well give it to him. I'm not eating out of that now. From this anchorage, it's actually called Marine Stadium, but by the locals, it's known as Bums Bay. And from there, you can walk through the bush to Main Beach. These are called blue bottles and not everything in Australia is trying to kill you, but they will leave a very nasty sting. Blue bottles are mostly found on exposed ocean beaches in Australia after strong onshore northeasterly winds wash them ashore. But within two days, the winds had changed and it was safe to go back in the water. Today we're pulling up anchor and we're heading back to Brisbane. We've had a great time on the Gold Coast with family and friends. And a big shout out to my mum for donating her beautiful clothes to all our friends in Fiji. Next week we sail to Morton Island and catch up with our favourite salty sailor mates. On the way over we watch the start of the Brisbane to Gladstone race and I show you how we made chaps for our dinghy.